Ah, hello everybody. Oh my gosh. I, hi everybody. You know what? Let me calling a few of my support. Cause this right here. No, no, bro. I promise you. The, the nonsense and the foolishness, I'm staying out of it. However, I have to speak to this nonsense and rebuke it because some of you crazy people are in on it and I have no understanding why. Why do you guys allow these crazy people to infiltrate your living room, your space, your privacy, your time of prayer. And Jesus is on his way. Like, can can we, according to Jamaicans, like, you know, make it make sense? Just come for a second. Because I, I just... Oh, Jesus. So, you all know I don't sleep much. When I finally get to sleep, the Lord wakes me up and said to me, go on, go on social media. I said, okay, God, you know, what's going on? Because, you know, you and I are just in this place and space and I'm good. Don't, you know, don't ruffle nobody's feathers. Stay in my lane, build this ministry and move on. So I got up and it wasn't social media. Someone sent me an inbox. Just come, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Because I'm going to send this rebuke and I'm so serious. Intercessors, lock this life for me and be praying for your papa. So, you ask me getting fat and putting, look here, the shirt, them not fitting, this problem, you know, this problem out in the people in the street. Anyhow, let's move on beyond that. Oh my God. So I'm sleeping and I lie not to you. A massive headache woke me out of my sleep. And normally, when the Lord wants to speak to me and I'm not, responding or not listening i get headaches i said okay god what did i do now i have been so good i have been behaving myself well kind of i've been behaving myself on social media and i've been just polite well i think then i said no it's not you this time not you this time son i said what and who or lord what's coming so I'm thinking the Lord's going to give me something about the election or say something to me that's going to get me in some kind of controversy. As usual, I'm like, Lord, please do. Please. I've already stated what I have to say concerning Trump, the church, and the election. I'm just focusing on Atlanta and we're building. Please, Lord. He said, look into your inbox. So one of the major Facebook media outlet says, Apostle, we want your input on these three prophetesses. I said, Jesus Christ. I said, what's going on now? <sighs> Prophetess Montgomery, and you all know how I feel about Celeste, these social media prophetesses, and there's a new chick on the block. So Celeste called out, Montgomery and said she's not of God. Montgomery came out with the word of the Lord Sunday for the world to warn about Celeste. This new bird on the block, I said bird, that's what they're calling her because I don't care about none of them. To me, this is not where the prophets are supposed to be fighting and doing all this nonsense. So when I see it, I'm just like, yo, dude, y'all are off. Now, so the other, the third lady who has entered the arena for, I guess, the, for the award of major and real prophetess has come out and called Montgomery out and says that she has a bug covering her. In other words, she's nothing. Listen. So I said, God, look, why do you have me involved in this? Because I'm, I'm not interested in none of them. But I will say this to Prophetess Montgomery. Do not go down this rabbit hole with Celeste. 
You know that in color purple for this? Celeste. Celestial. Those of you who do not know, please, if you don't know, stay unknown, okay? The master's voice. This girl that prophesy about zombies and movies and, and thrillers and always about something sexually perverted. She's the one who came out against T.D. Jakes and, and the whole shebang and is prophesying that Camilla is going to win and this is Camilla's race and all kind of stuff. And, and all of them fighting for all this power and position online. But I told you all a couple months ago, I was sleeping, really. I just got up and that's the only reason why I'm doing this so raw. Because normally you know I'll fix myself up, but I couldn't care less. That the Lord is going to put a lying spirit in all their mouths. I don't care. Send your goons. Send your witches. Send your warlocks. Do your research. Dig up my name. Hear me today. You three women, stop. None of this is of God. None of this is of God. You guys, one prophetess have 200,000 followers. Another have 100 and something thousand. And this other one is coming right behind. You all have such powerful platforms and you are going to use it to use prophetic language, interpretation, scripture and then say god say when did this become about you and when did the prophetic word became so obsessive that you care so much about what you say god say if a word is from the lord and you are his servant and a messenger who the hell cares who calls you a false prophet or who doesn't believe your word? Is it yours? Is the word from the Lord or is it from you? Because if it's from the Lord, who cares whether they're for Paul or for Apollos? You know how much thing they call me? You know how much stuff people tell lies about me about? And I'm still here. I watch the biggest of the biggest come against this little one barefoot orphan prophet and I watch them come down like the rock of Gibraltar because if God be for you who can be against you my problem with all three of you is that all three of you are in social media descending and defending God and the world is watching this nonsense and your platforms are big. Why the hell y'all don't use your platform to encourage black people to vote? And help some, well, either the left or the right. Because not obviously you guys are not in the middle. Pick a side. It's either you're for the Lord or you're not. To me, this is like outright witchcraft. And three witches are fighting for the highest power of authority. I didn't call you witches. I said it looks like. And what you're saying to the world is that our God is divided. Because three of you can't come in agreement with what God has said. And now you three are behaving like Trump, Camilla, Oprah, and everybody else in between. This is the church. This is the church. This is the people of God. This is the prophets. If you all are the prophets and the mouthpiece of God... For this hour, I will backslide. Let me go into the club, shock up, live it up. They call me womanizer. At least now I can live up to that name and have all the women I want. Left, right, and center. Publicans and Democrats alike. Republicans and Democrats alike. This can't be the church. It is an absolute disgrace. And I am outraged. Now you all know how I feel about Lovey and his wicked, whoring, warlock, spiritual father. Now when they come out, and you notice I come against people who use the word of God to manipulate the body of Christ. Watch what I do. 
I do not like the word of God to be tampered with. When lovey comes out and preach, when you're finished preaching, if people are confused, you have not preached the word. And if you're bringing your own interpretation because of your own lifestyle and disobedience and indiscipline to the scripture, and you're bringing your life low down to the word so that you can lift up your low life and people believe that it's of God, I'm coming after you. Because apologetics means to defend the gospel. And I'm a defender of the word. Jesus Christ used parables so that the very child can understand it and the very genius and elite can conceptualize the word of God. When you people come on social media, we already have a divided and devised world. We have people crazy in their mind. They don't know if they're man or woman. They don't know if they're tranny or this whatever. They don't know if they're part of the, L the alphabetic soup community or they're by the B-I-B-L-B L-E uh, community. They don't know if they're for the black or the right, straight or gay. And they have all kind of Bibles in between. And we are online messing with our prophetic gifts let me tell you something our prophecies or prophetic utterance is not important because the bible said prophecy will cease so when you three women are online giving out prophetic utterance and may the best one win or who is more prophetic than the other you all are dabbling in divination and you have told the line and crossed the line I don't care. Send your witches. Send your marine spirit. Those things you guys believe in. I sleep well at night. I don't know if you guys do. Okay? Because my Bible lets me know that the angels of the Lord encamp around them that fear him. I don't need no gathering. I don't need no nose ring. I do not need any shawl on my head. And I do not need my education to prove to you that God is behind me. So all three of you, I have a problem with. Social media. The Bible says gifts and calling, they are without repentance. And I have watched so many of you come out on social media with thus saith the Lord. And many of you are using dreams and visions as prophecy. A prophetic word is only of God when it comes into time without your knowledge, without your input, and nothing of yourself. Second Chronicles chapter 20 gives us a great analogy. A man by the name of Jezreel. He did not know that God was going to use him. And Jehoshaphat needed a word from the Lord. Don't let me get anointed on this line this afternoon, you know. And give on a bibliology. Because all of on a theology is messology. You understand? Jezreel, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. And the word of the Lord came in the immediacy of the congregation. Jehoshaphat, Judah, and Israel receive a now sure word from the Lord with specification. Move the worshipers from the back and put them in the front. Put the soldiers in the back. Tomorrow, this time, go up against them for they are coming up at the cliff of Zis. You shall not need to fight in this battle. But set yourself, Jehoshaphat, and stand he still, all of Judah and Jerusalem. For the battle is not yours, it is the Lord. And the Bible, you all read the scripture for yourself. Second Chronicles chapter 20, 1 to the end. Verse 17 is the prophetic word. And this is where God gave the instruction to the prophet who never prophesied in the congregation, in the midst, in time, with specification. And the people of God took three days to collect the spoil. They didn't have to draw a sword. And the Bible said, and none escaped the battle. This nonsense about you all prophesying stuff and having movies in your dreams and Hollywood in your dreams, sex in your dreams, marine spirit in your dreams, Scientology in your dreams, Trump in your dream, Oprah in your dream, this in your dream, it's not of God. We do not spend time on social media 
as mouthpieces of the Lord to come against each other or to compete against each other. Prophecy will cease. Preaching the gospel will cease. The only thing is forever is your soul salvation. This nonsense. I wish I had just 10% of what you guys have on social media to impact the world. And you guys have such a platform. Let me ask you all. You guys don't have enough money? Popularity? Your conferences are not packed out? Haven't you all sell enough books? Haven't you all sell enough prophecies? Haven't you all gotten fat and rich? Through the medium of mammon? Through the medium of your gifts? What more do you guys want? A casket? A casket? Because all of you guys are wishing death on each other to prove that one is more powerful than the other. My God. If there was ever a sign that God is not with someone. Is when that person have to convince the world that God is with them. Let me leave it right there. If you have to convince the world. That God is with you. The world is not crazy. The world is clear. That God doesn't. See. Let me tell you something. It's one thing when you say you know God, but does God know you? And your interpretation of God must be found in scripture. Biblical texts. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Listen, there's nothing special about you three than the other Christians that are in the world. So why are you guys trying to get the nomination for the top? All of us are leveled at the foot of the cross. Many of you don't understand my ministry, so you will say, well, prophet, you're in it too. No, the devil is a liar. Your mama and them, okay? Everything about you, your creed and your suckling is a liar. I'm not like anybody else. God has given me a space and a grace for me to thrive and to be. I do not want clout or popularity. But there must be one in the wilderness that cries for righteousness and holiness. And this is a mess. Because the world is watching us. And, and listen, please tag them these video. Celeste. Oh, Jesus. Prophetess Montgomery and this new girl. Listen to me and hear me very well. I don't want the top prize for how many people I baptize. The top prize for me being the accurate prophet. I want to know that souls have come home to God. And that we're preaching Christ and him crucified. In a world that is so diverse, diversified, confused, do not know the gospel. And we have an opportunity as social media, the Lord says... The ends of the world will hear the gospel. Jesus was talking about Bluetooth and internet in, in, in Genesis. Moses wasn't in the Genesis, but he could write the five Pentateuch. Can I hear some gospel come out of you guys? Can I hear about what God is saying concerning? And you know what the funny thing is? Let me take that back and I rebuke myself. There is nothing new. Let me get this thing here. There is nothing new that any prophet, prophetesses, or whatever you want to call yourself, can say that this book hasn't already said. And if you're saying anything else other than what this book has said, you're a false prophet. And we must mark you and judge you. We're in the book. Can I find you? And the hell that you're talking about. And the heaven that you want to put people in. And the monies that you guys are making. You see, you see the popularity? Popularity and fame that some of you thrive on on social media tells me that you guys are up to something. 
I don't pray for power. I don't pray for God to reveal people's mess. I don't pray to be the one who prophesies who's going to win the election. I go into prayer because I'm in relationship with God. And I want to make sure that he hears my heart and I hear his voice. I'm in a love relationship with him. And I look forward to going to heaven. And I can't wait to see his face. I can't wait to talk to Mary and Joseph. I want to talk to Sister Eve. I want to shake Brother Adam's hand. I want to talk to my, my, my Jamaican friend Peter. I want to talk to Paul. I love the Paulinian gospel. I thank God for the apostolic fathers who were in disciplines, who got discipline, got in the word and became apostles and set the world on fire. I don't want to know about the book of Enoch and I don't want to know the other Bible. Bibles that the Bible leaf that's hidden. I don't want to hear about no black Israel and no white Jesus and no in between. I, I'm okay with the 66 books because not even the disciples have given you enough in, in information about God. The greatest scholars and T.D. Jakes and my friend Noel Jones who can preach you under the bench still cannot exhaust and exacerbate who Christ is. Libraries are filled about Jesus Christ and still they have not scratched the surface of who Christ is. I am not going to kill myself out. Noah preached 120 some odd years and only 8 people got it into the ark. So if God give me a little community to be a Christ-centered church with a people-caring ministry reaching one soul at a time for the kingdom of God, I am on my watch. I cannot and I will not let Trump and Harris and all of them fight for the top job of our states. But I'm so, listen, I have the top job of all mankind. And that is to be a witness for Jesus Christ. You have the top job to be a witness for Jesus Christ. We have the top job to tell the world that Jesus saved. He loved them and come out of their sin. And you guys have social media. 250,000, 150,000. T.D. Jake's church only seats, what, 33,000. Eddie Long's, 25,000. I believe Creflo Dollar is about maybe in between there. And their sanctuaries are not filled. And you guys have more people online. Subscribe to your channel. And the nastiness and the mess and the cat fighting and, and the witchcraft and the divination why would you wish death on somebody to prove that you are a prophetess? It's witchcraft! And the Lord rebuke you three. Stop it! Because people are attached to you guys' mythology. People is attached to you guys' craziness. And Tiffany Montgomery, I'm kind of disappointed there. Because, because, you know better. You know better. I don't watch none of you guys. I, I, every now and then I send it a clip. But, 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 Tiff, come on now. I think out of all three of you all, you a little more stable. What's going on? I'm not hearing you talking about no zombies. I, you know. The new lady, I don't know her. She's pretty though. Very pretty. Her, she's very schooled and educated. I'm going to do some research on her. Because God didn't tell me nothing about none of y'all. Concerning this. I got woken up and the Lord said, get online. And speak to the confusion that you three are bringing to social media in his name. He is not pleased. Stop it, please. Stop it. You're bringing confusion in his name. That's that. I'm, I don't care about your ministries. And let me go deeper. I don't care about none of you. But when the Lord's name is affected and there's so many people, all three of you put together is half a million people you all are affecting together. And you guys don't even have unity in scripture. Something is wrong. With one or no, two of you, or all three of you. And you can come against me all you want, but I'm going to sleep well tonight. 
Because if all three of you are speaking on behalf of God and there is such a mess on social media, it's a red flag for all of your followers to say, I'm out. You, I promise I'm not going to get involved with this nonsense. But when, when Facebook calls my phone to ask of my opinion, I realize they want my influence and they want me to get into the cuscus because Facebook likes the church to be in confusion. So Meta and all of you, the Lord rebuke you. I'm coming out against all three of them and saying this cannot be of God. Let me talk to Lady Montgomery. If the Lord gave you a word concerning Celeste, sit, stick to it. But do not take your personal platform and come against Celeste. Okay? Trust me. Trust this big nose crazy prophet. Don't go down that rabbit hole. If you want to lose your ministry, your following, and your credibility, go after Celeste. If you want to look half correct and half right, say what the Lord tell you, shut up and move on. Because one thing I know, all truth will be told in the end. I don't have to fight nobody on social media. I don't know your ministry. I've never tapped into anything that you've done. Only when I got up, and today, the message was sent to me, and I viewed the message you sent out on Facebook. Um, there is a level, there is a level that we do not cross, even when we are sure of what we hear. Because there are people who will make your gift seem demonized and demonic. That is their objective and agenda. I move very strange in the spirit. And I used to operate like that publicly. But not everybody can handle how God deals with me. And so there are certain things I no longer do publicly. Not because I'm afraid. But when people are spiritually ignorant and they do not understand the orders and the levels of the anointing that I carry... You, your, your, your good can be evil, evilly spoken of. And I'm warning you, Lady Montgomery, Prophetess Montgomery, if truly your ministry is what it is and what you desire it to be, then let not your good be evil spoken of. Because there are some people who speak evil and we good people can see it. I don't trust and believe nothing thing that comes out of Celeste's mouth. I don't know this new young lady. I heard that she's educated, she's in school, and she, she's flowing, and her ministry is building. I think she's very pretty. Um, but what's going on is not of God. All three of you need to stop. And if the Lord has given you a word, I want to hear a word of comfort to America I want to hear a word of rebuke and change to the gates that have our children in homosexuality. I want the prophets that will rise up like Nehemiah and Isaiah. Listen, Isaiah came from a rich background. And when you listen to Isaiah and his upbringing, there's not much about Isaiah's background, but you can tell that he was wealthy and he raised livestock and that he did not have to go into exile or into battle for God's people, but yet God called him. It is this Isaiah who had luxury things that became um, poor and unpopular for the things of God. Not that he was poor physically, but he gave up his heirlooms and his, um, and his rights and his privilege 
to become a prophet, a voice in the wilderness. It is this same Isaiah who prophesied and brought in David and the throne and the throne of Judah and through to Isaiah, we heard about the government shall be upon his shoulder and this child shall be called Emmanuel and Jesus is born and the whole life story is brought forth in the Old Testament and is proclaimed and established in the New Testament. I'll be preaching about Isaiah Sunday in Canada and um, it's been in my spirit. The real prophets, they will deal and it was a time like this that Isaiah came to the throne. It was a time like this that Isaiah affected kingdoms. You know, many of you may not like me for saying this, but I believe that Candace Owen is a modern day Isaiah. She may not be your thought and she may not be popular, but when you can affect kingdoms, when you can affect governments, when you can influence policies, when you can usher in your thoughts and uh, uh, government listen to you, that's where the church needs to be. Social media is one part and arm of the government, but when you have power, money, and authority, and when your language is clear and God backs you up publicly, you don't have to fight privately. Neither do you have to fight publicly. This right here, something is wrong with what you three are doing. It's not of God. Do not fight for yourself. And if you have to fight for yourself over God's word, something is wrong. You notice when I fight for myself? When people tell lie on me. Don't tell people send me come sleep with you when I didn't. And do not tell people I abuse when I am. I, there's not an abusive bone in my body. When my integrity and my name is on the line and you can't bring your facts and your proof and people are calling me things out of my name, yeah, man, me will come out on you like SARS and me behave like me ghetto. But I'm very learned and I'm very nice and I'm polished. Yes, yes, yes. I've given up all of my niceties for the cause of Christ. But don't think because I am nice, I won't lash you with my tongue. And don't think because I'm a Christian, I'm going to sit down and take the abuse from the church. However, I will never fight with God's word or defend what God has told me to say. For his word is yea and amen. And I'm done. You don't like it? Tough. You don't like what God has said? Are your problem. Miss Montgomery, listen to this wise old prophet. I'm 41 this year coming October. Don't go down the road with evil Celeste. Sister New Lady on the block, if I were you, leave this ring with these two women and step out of the ring and stay focused on your assignment. Lady Montgomery, I don't know much about you and I'm not interested, but I'm telling you, if the network you have and the people that you are leading and is following, and I see that it's mostly ladies, if you love them and you care enough about them, don't tangle with Celeste. And I rebuke line, and I know what you guys are doing. You guys are calling me online to let me know that you know I see you calling me and I ignore you. And that's why I keep ignoring you on the road. So when you keep calling me to let me know that you know I see you calling me and I have to take you off my life so you don't interrupt me, I am definitely not going to call you. Because it means whatever I have to say is not important and your need is more important. And 95% of the time, you guys are either asking for money or want a prophecy. I'm not an obi man, I'm not a bank. So when I'm online doing God's work, hold your peace. I'm not going to do this with you guys anymore. Stop this nonsense. I don't get calls of encouragement. I don't get calls of prayer. Other than my intercessors, I'm a little picnic them. Other than that, I said to Doc the other day, I was I was running, and a girl stopped me and was, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and just crazy about me. I said, listen, get out of my face, you hear me? Because when 
I was dying and people wanted me to die. And when I was on medication and off and couldn't stand and look like accident meek incident, you all went around and talked nonsense and said that I was under witchcraft and I'm going to die. Now that me put in on weight and look decent and good, and the Lord established the church and money coming in and I'm walking and running and tracking and all of that. Mm -hmm. Legs, tie, breast, abs, everything come back and it turn up. You want to come with a local witchcraft and you stay front in front of me. Listen to me. Me, no interested. Because when I was down in the mire, as some old mothers who knew how to pray and intercede came at my side, it wasn't you long um, um, finger waving, what do you call it, Moravian and Moravian wig selling, pound selling, weave handling people. It was mothers who said, this boy can't die out of his purpose. So don't take your little waistline and your pump up breast and your nails and your lips and your tuck and your butt and your LBT and BBL in my face swinging. Where the hell were you when mothers were praying for me and praying that life into me? I'm not playing with no one, you know. I'm not interested. Don't do it. I will class you very well. Don't do it. My salvation is more important than your local steel front. You understand me? Sell it where it is cheap. Because over here, so it's very expensive. I don't have no second and last chance. I, my, all of my nine, nine life done. So this lap that I'm on is for Jesus Christ. And when the Lord send the right one, I will know. Do not mess with me. People, f listen, daughters, listen to your father right now. People literally figure out the track I'm running on. A lady called me and said, I know which city you're in. And I just want to meet you. And my daughter is crazy about you. Keep your Jezebel daughter to herself and you to your, you, look here. Miller, all right, bring it in. You three ladies online. With your ladies online, it's not of God. Stop it. Stop it. And if the Lord really has spoken to you, you don't need to address each other. Because the kingdom is watching you. You guys are on YouTube. Yo, you guys are on YouTube with 150,000 followers. 250,000. Listen, poor me. I am not in, listen, I am not on the social media, you know, but I am in the field doing the work. You all have the, the niceties to be online and make millions and chat foolishness all day, write books and make millions. And you all want to use that to come against each other to find out who is the best and the sharpest and the most accurate prophetess and wishing death on each other. It's witchcraft. I say, listen, Lady Beverly, I see them, you know, I see them coming. And, and me, you know, and, and I also am a local troublemaker. I see them coming. When I was on medication and nobody was looking in my direction and everybody said the ministry done and people walk away, they declared that God is not with him. And poor them don't know, sir. In the valley, he restores his soul. And he bring you back from your setback. For your setback was only a setup for your comeback. Your past failures or your present victories. They never, they don't know those kind of, they don't know them something. Hmm? Scripture said that with Samson when he was in the prison. And how be it in the 25th verse. His hair began to grow again. They don't understand covenant. That no matter if they cut your hair. The covenant still stands. Lord, all right, all right. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. So church people have this um, uh, uh, um, behavior. That if you go through a valley or a fire. That God is not with you and something is wrong with you. And they don't understand that it is in the fire you are tested and tried for your next level. Because he gives his hardest battle to his strongest soldier. And God will only use a soldier he can trust. Had some people gone through what you've been through, they would have already given up, blown their brains out. Because their people are in the grave who gave up for less than what you're going through. Some of you sitting down right now, if some of your enemies only put their, their foot in your shoes for 60 seconds, they will lose their mind. 
But because God has tempered you for the fire. Namande ko shebe. All right, God. All right, I feel heat. Ketamande la bokushandi asa. Ketori biando lo bohunde. Namanda yabakusha. I said, if some of your enemies that are coming up against you only had 60 seconds in your assignment, it takes somebody of strength and power to sit with grace under pressure and still love God. That's criticizing you. Amen. All right. Okay. You all know, don't take much for me to get anointed. Lord, put a hedge around your people tonight. Cover their children. Move ahead, God. Send angels before. Hey, release cherubims and seraphims tonight. I don't know who I'm on the line fighting for and who this makes sense for. I came to rebuke three women that's behaving like witches, but now I'm shifting to somebody who needs an intervention. Kandaya Mahun, I said, if they stood in your shoes for 60 seconds of your warfare that you've been going through the last 7 and 20 years, they would have already lost their mind. But you're still standing rock steady. May the grace of the Lord keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind All right. Hallelujah. Move in. This mountain shall be removed. Ah, get somebody, get some, get your family, put everybody in front of the screen. I'm praying tonight. I bind you sickness, I dry up cancer, I come against the infiltration of your camp. I dismiss every suggestion and perception of hell around you now. I lift the edge of protection. I command the shields of faith to come up now and to wrestle every assignment of hell. Somebody say amen if I'm talking to you and your house. Let me locate you tonight. Hey, 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 hey! It shall not work. Hey! Sataya mahunde. Kitandele beko shabaya bahun sete behende. I said it shall not work. Rabo Shabaya Bahunde Sekuribian Sataya. Mighty is our God. He's mighty in battle. Hey, all right. Mm hmm. I sever every attack now. And I speak peace over your house now. I render the works of darkness null and void, powerless and useless. I dull the edge of your enemy's weapon. When they strike, it will break. It will not penetrate your house. It will not infiltrate. It will not devastate. It will not frustrate. It will not annihilate. May the works of darkness be found in their own camp. I heard somebody said, Prophet, it sounds like witchcraft when you say, send back the arrows or send back the blow. Well, Bible lets me know that when the three armies came up against Joasaphat, they used their own weapons and destroyed each other. And when the people of God came down from the cliff of Zis, everything was the blood. Now I declare, may 2 Chronicles chapter 21 to the end, be your testimony people of God. Arise in the spirit of Jehu. We throw every Jezebel out of her tower. We come against Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, against Israel and God's people. For we have none to fear in the days ahead if Jehovah is leading us. 
us. Your enemies shall in turn on themselves and overthrow and destroy their own deception. It shall be devised in their camp. I'm saying it differently now so you don't think I'm a witch and a wizard. But may every arrow have a mirror. All right, that I am a, come on, say with me, may every arrow that's against me have a mirror. I'm being nice, I'm being nice, I'm being nice. But this is a powerful prayer point. May every arrow, may that is arrowed against you, may it be mirrored in the camp. Take blow, blow, take blow, blow, take blood, blood, take witch, witch, take the assignment, assassins. May the arrow of your intention against the camp of God's people huh, be mirrored in your camp. Y'all never hear that before? Release it all over your house. Release it on your job. Release it against, oh God, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Because not everybody in church is seeing So release it in the temple where the arrows have been arrowed against you. Put a mirror up in front of your enemies. What they are, they shall be. And what they have been, they shall receive. Mirror for mirror. That's why I tell you, there's some prayers I pray in the dark and by myself because some of you won't be able to understand me. But tonight, every enemy that is in your camp, I release your mirrors. Oh, somebody who believe me, say amen. And somebody is ready for your miracle and your deliverance to come up out of every satanic suggestions and atmosphere. Decree and declare. My mirror shall work for me. What is the mirror? The word of God. No weapon form against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, it is condemned. This is my inheritance and my heritage. I have nothing to fear because God is before me. And who can be against me? I mirror Psalms 91 against every system, against every possession, perception, every prayer and deception. May it be in your coast. May it be in your coast. I call for the protection of heaven upon your house now. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most I shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. All right, I'm sweating and I'm going in and I gotta go into my prayer room because you can't handle this kind of prayer. Yay! May their ways become dark and slippery. Draw out your sword, your shield and butler. Fight against them that fight against us. Roar again in Zion from your most holy place. Like Samson broke the pillars of his enemies' dominion and camp. May everything that is roaring above my head and wants to defeat me be brought low now. Mirror for mirror. Whoever house I'm warring for, may you receive this deliverance now. You wicked opposition from the camp of the enemy. We grab you by the head and take you out like David did Goliath. We're not going after your foot. We're not going after your heart. We're not going after your hand. We're going after the devil. That's a base of hell. That's why David went after the head. You see, if you take off the hand and you take off the foot and the brain is still thinking, the Bible says weapons form. Where does weapon start? In the mind. You cannot create anything unless the mind first forms it. So the first place where war must be won is in the mind. And be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to take down the mind of your enemies. It, listen to me. Witchcraft starts in the mind. Evil comes from the mind. You, you are fighting the results of the mind. Evil comes from a place of thought. And if you want to get the root, get the thought. Get the brain. Get the headquarters. Shove the head of your enemy. Shut it down. Every database. Every thinking, bapping, mapping, and database against your home and life. We dysfunction it. We interrupt it. 
We send infection to the database and we decapitate it. We take your head off. And so, this is how I walk in power. You have to understand where the weapons are formed. You are fighting weapons that have formed. That's why you keep warfaring. Because you're fighting the weaponry. But you're not fighting the formation of weapons. If you want the weapons to stop, go for the database. Go for the... Oh, yeah, go for the Elon Musk of hell. Kataya Mahunde. Keto Shabaya Mahanda. Lord, a minute, a minute, a minute. I'm in the vein. Somebody has been saying, God, man of God, it's been seven years, 20 years, 10 years. I've been fighting this thing. But you've been fighting the weapons. But you've not been destroying the creative mechanism of the weapon mm. David went for the head the database of who is carrying the weapon you see a soldier can't fight unless he knows his enemy or his opposition or his target uh -huh. because here you have to have yaso when you're in war not just your armor some of you have armor and it's religion. You don't have your mind in the war. You don't have your family in the war. You don't have your generation in the war. But you have on your armor. You have on your church hat. You have on your three-piece suit. And you're speaking in tongues. But nothing is in your mind. Listen, battles are won and fought, yes. Lost and fought, yes. If you win it here, you will win it here. And you'll fight effectively. Because the weapons of my warfare, they're not carnal. But they're mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. And when you understand your weapon and you understand your enemy and you understand the, 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 the mind field that you're on and you understand the war ground that you're on you have to understand some wars don't need weapon some wars don't need a sound some wars need sprays some wars need mm. some wars you just watch and some wars just stamp some wars you stand and see the salvation of the Lord with you you need a mind of Christ to teach you the strategy for the weapons that you're using and the kind of war and the warfare that you're upon there. I, I didn't come to do all of this. I came to rebuke these three so-called prophets that's online fighting for power. But I hear God to shift it and pray for somebody's house tonight. Goliath is not a man. Goliath is a system. You're not fighting a man. You're fighting a system. Somebody said, prophet, prove your point. I'm glad you asked me. Goliath is not even a Philistine. He's from the camp of giants. He also had four brothers. When David went down to the brook, he took five stone. How much stone did he use against Goliath? So then why did God let him get five stone? Because after Goliath is down, there is four more giants to get. And when you read the, read the lifespan of David, and you heard of Ishmanab, who had six fingers on each hand and six toes on each each toes and he was bigger than Goliath. May I tell you that this war that you're fighting is not one enemy. Lord God, you can't let me behave mad online. We do this only in private. Sir, me begging you. Let me tell you everything that you need for your enemies is already in your hands. You have to understand the strategy and know when to release your weapons of war. After Goliath there's Ishmanab, and he has four other brothers, and you need to know what time to release it. Even when David was getting old, he had to transfer the power of fighting to his sons. And his son said, King, you are more to us than 17 other kings. Rest yourselves, and we, your children, will fight the battle. And the Bible said that he succored Ishmanab, who almost 
took out David. Many of you are fighting battles and the reason why you are dying, it was not meant for you to fight. It was meant for you to hand down the mantle. It was meant for you to teach your children how to carry the sword of the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. But you have been manipulating the atmosphere of victory because of your triumph. Sit back and let the Lord fight your battle. This is not the season for you to lose your light because you're trying to choose and prove your popularity. Saul has killed his thousand and David is ten thousand. But I've given you sons now that you, if you teach them how to fight and how to war, they'll keep your life longer. What kind of war are you fighting? Witchcraft starts in the mind. Up here, so. All right, let's go deeper. If somebody decides to take up your clothes and to carry it to a soothsayer, you think the soothsayer is who you need to fight. But the person who had the mind to go into your house, to go for your DNA, and then to walk and pay money, and even do sacrifices. And oh Lord, y'all don't you're not ready for this kind of listen. That's why I, I teach privately, because when I teach publicly, some of you guys will think I'm crazy. That's why I teach my group and I stay to myself. I'm a lonely prophet, I don't need everybody. And they take your things. The person who does the witchcraft is not evil, they are doing a fee for service. It's the person who goes the extra mile, use their money and other people's money, blood and sacrifice animals or people to take you out is the evil. And what is the evil? Their mind. So let's give you another prayer point. May confusion come to the minds of your enemies. May them go for your name and pick up theirs instead. Uh -huh. May them tell the lies and it's about themselves. May the exposure that they desire for you be in their camp. Oh, y'all don't like me. You, you, you don't have to be on here. Come off and go sit down. Gideon, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I, I'm, calm down, prophet. B bring it in. You've been nice for about a year now. Bring it in. Bring it in. Gideon couldn't sleep. <clears throat> and God said, come here, come here, Gideon. Let me take you down to the zinc of your enemies. You can't sleep? Why you can't you sleep? Put your ears up against... Switch the witchcraft, Lord God. Switch the craft, woman of God. You get it. Little Wallace, Lord, we, we, we can't teach that it's online, you know, because they will think we're crazy. But, 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 he said to Gideon, put your ears against the zinc. What do you hear? Your enemies are up. It's night and they can't sleep. Gideon, hear some more. Why can't they sleep? God has terrorized their dream. And they're having dreams of what? You succeeding. Oh, God have mercy. Help me. They're having dreams. Why do you think they're against you so much? They have dreams. They see you buying your house. They see your church flourishing. They see you having a, a husband and having children. They see you making money. And you succeeding is causing them to not sleep. You being successful, as the Bible says, is cause terror to be in their heart. Why are you not sleeping, Gideon? Because... My enemies are strategizing. No, God said, no, no, they're not strategizing. They can't sleep. <clears throat> My goodness and mercy. May I prophesy on this line? Can somebody say, man of God, prophesy? You know, I don't do it, but I feel like doing it tonight. Your enemies shall prophesy your victory. They will be up at 
at night talking about your success, they will not be able to be content because the thing that they prophesied before is going to be proven a lie. They will have to come back and say of a truth, God is with her. God is with him. My hand is upon their house. My grace is upon them. I said it this way, but God has done it that way. And I too am convinced about what God is doing in their life. Truly, she is a woman of God. Truly, she is a man of God. For the word of the Lord has made me to be a lying prophet against his servants. And look what the Lord has done. Your enemy shall come in alignment with God's assignment for your life. Gideon, what do you hear them saying? We're having a dream of a little ball turning to a dumpling and a stone and it's destroying their city. And who is doing this? Your enemies have prophesied and this has been done by the God of Israel. Oh God, I feel like I, I wish I could hug some of you to let you know that what you see is a false burden to let you know that the story does not end here to let you know that your enemies are gathering in one place against you and you think that it's a wrong thing and you're worried but God is saying I am bringing all of them into one place that when I give them one bitch lick it will destroy all of them one time I told y'all, listen, I'm a wild card, you know, so you got to, over here, so we're rough. We're rough. <clears throat> oh, oh, we're rough. We're very rough over here. Listen, I was in, I got to behave myself, you know, but because some of you are rough, they're going with you. I was in revival with my children then. We were in retreat. And God, a pastor teacher, putting them pure bad word. My grandmother said, this is a cloth. And when it's dry and you try to hit a fly, it don't have nothing. But when you wet it, it's no longer called a cloth. It's called a ross. Finish it. Mm -hmm. And when you it wet, you give them a ross, you know what? Mm -hmm. And listen, it connect. I am giving you a mm -hmm, to connect tonight. You Jamaicans know what I'm talking about. May this world connect with your enemies. Listen, clot them. All of your enemies in one season is coming down. We don't have time to pray about money, honey, husband, car, cancer, ministry. No, 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 no. We have too much to gain to lose. Mm -hmm. And we're stepping one foot in the other. No retreat. No surrender, no turning back. I'm a rough prophet and a rough preacher. You can't handle it, come out the way. Because anything that gets a lick, you know, steal it. Not on this side, we don't have time for it. May the miracles of God be in your coast. And may God give you favor. You sleep in the night. And you work in the day. Stop working in the day. No, sorry. Stop sleeping in the day and working in the night. May your rest be sweet. And may God be your comfort. And may your enemies be up. Listen to me. Hear this prophetic word. Your enemies are out of tricks to stop you. They no longer know what to do. So now they're up at nights while you are sleeping. And when you're up in the days making money, they're sleeping because they were up all night trying to find a new strategy to take you down. But you're hard to die. And they can't take you because you're under his cover and you're under his wing. Go to your bed and sleep. May this prayer and this anointing on this line Wherever and ever, wherever you hear it, may it be your protection for all of 2025, 2024, 2026 and beyond that you may live and your enemies know that God is in the midst of you and anything you touch shall prosper. 
I come against failures. I come against edicts. I come against perceptions, minions, dominions, thrones, authority, portals, realms, and regions that have been testifying against you. May the evil be ceased now. It stops and we legislate and we command it to be done now. Every throne that is exalted against the knowledge of God be diminished and be brought to public disgrace and shame. Wherever your name, your family, your grace and your power to thrive and to drive has been stopped and opposed and there has been insurrection from the portals of darkness, may it dry up now and be disappointed. I'm not saying by fire, I'm saying in the name of Jesus. I release the blood that never lose its power. It can climb every mountain and flow in every valley. It can wrestle every demon and bring every subject down to its knee. For every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is a Lord. He is a Lord over your house. He's Jesus over your house. His blood make the difference and it shall bring you through. His blood will carry you all the way this year. No death. No interruption, no life, no angels, no principalities, no powers, no rulers, no angels, nothing from the underworld, nothing in the earth, nothing above the heavens and above the heavens of the heavens. Neither famine, sword, nakedness, peril, disgrace. I decree and declare that the Lord has closed the portals of everything that is under the earth that wants to abbreviate the will of God concerning you. No more miscarriage. No no more misappropriation uh, of your character, your marriage, your children, your home, and your destiny. Your assignment is solidly locked in Jesus. And may the will of the Lord find you perfect, in perfect peace. No struggle. No struggle. I said no struggle. No struggle. I command peace on your day. Peace on your road, peace in your community, peace on your block, peace in your bed, peace upstairs, downstairs, in between the basement, peace in your apartment, the entire compound. I command peace because you live there. Peace, 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 peace. Peace in your body. I wrestle that cancer. I come against that lupus. I come against that high blood pressure. I come against whatever is fighting you in your body. May there be peace. In fact, I declare good news coming through the mail. I declare the phone call is coming. Your son is returning home. That verdict of your loved one that is in prison shall be overturned. I declare that you shall make more money and work less this year. This month, you shall see an increase without you working hard. But God shall work hard for you. I declare your documents are free. Your name is free. God is causing grace to come upon you. Every blockages that you've been experiencing may it lift now. And that the favor of the Lord finds you. Yes, 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 yes. May you walk among those that are heavy financially. May favor and grace find you in unexpected places. From unexpected people. In unexpected terms and season. You should be having. In winter but you shall experience summer all for season may the grace of God bring you up like an almond tree and the roots go down like the bamboo and in the midst of the famine you shall thrive and there will be almond and there will be water and there will be grace for the season of difficulty you shall not experience it receive it I don't care what's coming up on the land you're covered mums and monkeypox and, and other trace of, 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 of COVID, it shall not be in your house. 
Not even the flu shall be in your house this year. We seal you under this grace tonight. Every headache is leaving. Every medication that you're taking. Every step and every dizziness. Ah, you've been somebody been sleeping in the darkness because the light is bothering you. May you receive healing now. That spinal diff you line up. I command those knees to respond to this prayer today. Cordilage is coming between your ankles and, and, and your knees. Let there be impaction and there be support uh, that you may walk without the surgery. God is bringing you up into a healthy place that you may finish this assignment without losing another limb or a limb. You're going back to God. Hold. We stand in agreement tonight. So if you plan to die this year, we cancel the funeral. You see? You shall see your birthday next year this time. We're not burying anybody in this ministry or your ministry. You better come in agreement. We might be fighting for your funeral. Now, uh, somebody's obituary is supposed to be read by the end of this year. We stop it now. We interrupt it now. Nothing from the underworld, nothing from the camp of the enemy will be suggested and become a reality in your time, in your reach, your region, your people, your community, your kingfolk, your very suckling will not hear the news of your enemy's perception. I tell you. Witchcraft and demonic atmospheres starts in the mind. They can think it against you, but it's what you believe that gives them the access. Let me say that again. They can think it against you. They can fashion it against you. You can look at it as a bow or a blow rather. And you can either receive the blow or get your bat. It's up to you. Tonight, I give you the bat. The word, everything that is thrown, be it a curveball, coming in at 90 miles an hour, be it one to strike you out, you shall not miss. And you shall bat it out of your camp. And you shall have a home run this year. And the base there loaded for victory after victory. Your enemy shall remain in the outfield. And you shall have a homecoming game this year. May your mind... Be in Christ now. We don't believe in witchcraft. We don't believe in Scientology. We know it exists. But we believe in the word of God. And no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. Mm -hmm. Every perception and suggestion of hell. In judgment it is condemned. This is the heritage of the people of God. You Jamaicans, stop talking about witchcraft and marine spirit. Back that out of your camp. You got houses to build, babies to make, money to make, houses to have, churches to experience, souls to win. You're focusing too much on these witches and their craft. Back them out of your network and continue to build and flourish. And when God bless you, remember me. That's all. I love you. You three young ladies... That is in social media and you say God is speaking to you. Prophetess Montgomery, Celeste, and this other young lady. You all stop it. It's not of God. And I rebuke it. You cannot say all three of you are representing God and there is so much confusion on social media. That's why I don't listen to no social media prophet. None. None. Where is your works? I mean, if God is leading you, you don't have to protect and back yourself up. He does it. So if you have, listen, again, I said it earlier. If you have to convince the world that God is with you, could it just be that God is convincing the world he doesn't know you? I'm going to leave it right there. Jamaicans say, I throw my corn. I didn't call any fowl. Didn't call any chicken. So, if you throw your stone in a hog pen, the first pig that squeal is who it hits. Am I clear? We don't come against each other in the kingdom to make kingdom impact. It's demonic and it's not of God. 
And it suggests to me that there is confusion in your camp and God don't know you. And I am bold enough to address it because that's my assignment. When I say foolishness in the name of God, I don't like it. Because you're representing our God in your clown suit. And I don't like it. This is not a circus. And if you're saying God, you guys have 150,000 people following you. 250,000. And you all don't feel any way. You don't see that people can get messed up by your foolishness on YouTube, Facebook. You guys are on all social media platforms and making millions a year and none of you need to stop well this one lonely prophet is going to say to you it's not of god and stop it if god be for you then who can be against you and if he send you you don't have to defend his word that he give you preach the word and god does the drawing you why do you have to prove that you are the real prophet why is it that it's necessary for you to speak judgment and death on the other one to prove that you are real? It's called witchcraft. And all three of you are in it and it's not of God. Ladies, stop it. Prophetess Montgomery, if the Lord is with you and you hear this message, do not tangle with Celeste. If you love the people that are with you and you truly have a desire to shepherd and to disciple them, you will not tangle on social media with her. So when I heard that this is going to be a showdown on social media out of your mouth, I was shocked. I don't know you, but this is not of God. And you don't have nothing to prove. If God be for you, then who can be against you? When I see preachers have to prove themselves in scripture and prophecy something is wrong prophecy will cease preaching will cease your soul salvation is what's important okay when i hear celeste talking about vampires and zombies and sex and all kind of illicit stuff that come out of her is what's in her and let me say this and go now whatever you look at the longest becomes the strongest and those of us that are prophetic we've got to be careful what we listen to even the news, even the election. You've got to be careful what we listen to, especially when we're going to our bed or in prayer. Because Ezekiel chapter 13 tells you that you will prophesy the imagination of your mind. And so what I am seeing about Celeste is what's in her heart and mind. And the mind and the heart is synonymous to each other. You all need to be in some Bible teaching church so you all understand that you guys are under some serious strong delusion. And deceiving the body of Christ with it. And it's not of God. Stop it. And I rebuke it. So anybody else that send me any other video concerning these three so-called prophetesses, you know where I stand. Stop it. Serve your community. Serve the atmosphere and the platform that God has given you with integrity and with righteousness. And he will reward you. The Lord bless you. This is the right Reverend Dr. Prophet John McKenzie Miller, the orphan's prophet, telling you it is not of God when all three of you are talking about Jehovah and is in discord. Something is wrong. There's a disconnect. And if there's a disconnect, God is in none of it. None of it. So, those of you who know what I'm talking about, tag them in this video and let them hear what I have to say. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got up from my sleep, y'all. I don't sleep much. I was sleeping today. So my face swell and no swell. I was sleeping. And the Lord woke me up out of it and said, deal with it. Speak to it. Since you all are on social media doing this nonsense, we're going to rebuke you in social media with your nonsense. Okay? You don't have to like it, but it's the word of the Lord for the people of God and I stand on it and it will remain here until Facebook take it down or you send your goons and hoons after me but this place is covered and I'm going to my bed. God bless you. Pray for me. I love you. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.